What's going on YouTube? Crypto Matrix here, coming at you with another cryptocurrency stream. I'm gonna get right into the price action today, but sadly there isn't too much price action. Not much going on. It's been a very sideways movement, just a boring day in crypto. Also, coincidentally, a rainy day out, so go figure. It is not like the day before with that awesome Bart Simpson right here. Uh, lots of action then, and some talk of manipulation, which I actually, it's hard to tell. Like, it could just be one person buying in with a lot and then a bunch of people selling you know like a lot of people even myself were very tempted to sell at the ten thousand three hundred dollar rate it got all up ten thousand four hundred twenty five that would have been the peak for you um but even me i was thinking about selling some model coin and just and it's like those thoughts that just come into your mind and uh you know you gotta try to really hold that hodl coin so not too much going on the Bollinger Bands are tight. The EMAs are close together. There's going to be a move coming up over the next few days, but it's not going to be today, I don't think. It's going to be a boring day in crypto. We're talking a couple hundred dollar moves. The low for today was 9385 and that was just a wick that shot down right here. And then the high is 9649. Yeah, 49 right there. So just a boring, just a boring day. Not too much going on. Um, basically, I think we're going to see a sideways motion for another few days, and then we're going to keep bouncing off this resistance. Or uh, the bearish scenario would be it would drop down towards this other resistance or this support level here, and that's also a possibility as well. But I'm leaning more towards bullish just because we're still in a bull pattern. We're still in a bull pattern here, and as long as we're respecting that bull pattern, I think that we can expect it to continue to slowly move up and you know build. Decently a green day all around. Altcoins pretty green, Bitcoin a little green. We're only talking one two percent here for Bitcoin, but lots of green. Lots of green. Got a nine percent for NEM. 16% for Numerare. It's the best in 24 hours. But let's, let's not go full bull. Let's check out some bearish scenarios. Okay, so a new quantum model for BTC predicts a bottom in 2021 before 2022 bull run. So instead of what we're or at least I have been following a whole lot of stock to flow, which has put in another red dot, which is awesome. Um, so if it happens anything like the last one, or even let's say it happens like the first one and projects way over, that's not going to happen. I think it's going to happen just like that again. Just like that again. Go up close to 100K, maybe like 89,000, and that's where it's going to peak, maybe. Boy, would it be cool if it peaked over. They both peaked over. They all peaked over. So let's see. Let's see what happens. But the bearish to short to midterm outlook, uh, the bad news for the bulls is that it predicts the price dropping back down to 4000 by the end of the year, which instead of a 15000 which I'm hoping for, but the potential drop below 2000 the model forecasts a recovery to around 6000 in the mid-2021, followed by another drop below 4,000 by the end of that year. Only then will the next bull run properly start, according to the model, breaking 24,000 by mid-2022. Now, I think the bull run will come in a year to 18 months. So let's, I, I've said that many times. So let's see if that actually happens. That would be really cool if it did. But I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't get these massive blow-offs again. Like, it's, it just makes, you know, makes things crazy, but, um, in many ways, it's a good way to just accumulate more coins. So whenever you get those big blow-offs, just accumulate more Bitcoin, guys. I, I really don't think it's going to go to zero, as they, as uh, some people have said. You know, it's it's not something that's just going to disappear, and it's very popular. And there's a zillion other coins just trying to be like Bitcoin. And uh, as long as Bitcoin is, you know, still doing its thing, and people are still curious and buying and paying for it it's going to continue to go up for sure it's 
because it's not uh, what it's worth. It's what people are believing it's worth. And as long as it's continuing to have belief, it's going to continue to go up. That's for sure. Here's something else to be careful of out there, guys. There's lots of scams going on. And I'm actually going to read this one to you because it's it's just scary how you can get scammed out there. So scammer spoofs SMS identifier to steal funds from Bitcoin user. The episode was reported on June 2nd by a Reddit user going by the name of Gandalf. Gandalf, according to the victim, he wanted to cash out his Bitcoin savings of 0.1747 Bitcoin worth 1,677 as of press time. Though at a hodl hodl platform, he found the merchant willing to offer 1,650 euro or $1,800 for the Bitcoins. This appears to have been higher than the going market rate time due to the sudden Bitcoin price slip, which saw it reverse the gains made less than 24 hours earlier. So that's probably what got the guy who wanted his coin interested because he's like, oh, it's higher than what it is. I can, I can just get that. And that gets your mind going right there. A buyer offered to use the Rowo app and settle the trade asking for the victim's phone number to make the payment. The victim then received a realistic SMS that reportedly came from a vault saying that the transfer was pending and would be cleared in a few hours due to difference in locations. So they are prepared for this kind of stuff, guys. It's just, it's creepy. So, I mean, the beauty of having Bitcoin is you're, you're managing all your stuff yourself, but then you, you got to be smart with it. You, you got to really pay attention. You got to know what's going on. It's very rare they're going to message you in any way, especially on the phone. Um, most companies are email strictly and uh, usually they'll have an email that you can email them and they'll never just email you first. It's very rare they do unless it's like some kind of uh, marketing thing. They will email you that, but it's usually not going to have links that you can click on that will do something like that other than refer you to something on their web page. Um, anyway, at first glance, the message came from the same identifier that sent two-factor authenticator codes making it appear genuine. While the user did not see the money on the Revolve app, the scammer then successfully pressured the victim into releasing his BTC from escrow. So just with a little pressure then, he got him to release his own funds. And uh, that's how they do it, guys. And they're left there sitting there with their pinky in their mouth like, oh, I scammed you and you're shit out of luck. And that's just one of the really scary things out there. So be careful of that, guys. Scammers are everywhere. Be safe with your coin. It is very important. And a little Electronium news. So saying, wishing you all a great Wednesday, introducing Electronium's weekly stat update. So another update with Electronium. And they've got 3,968,000 users, mobile tops up to 156,000, ETM merchants of 1,786, app downloads of 2,585,000, instant app payments of 290,494, ETN to a native of 69,018. So ETN is just doing a great job. I can't wait to just see where they continue to go. We all know what I think. I think we're hitting a buck to three bucks within the next five to 10 years. Um, I had a request for a prediction and uh, that's what my prediction is. I really think ETN is gonna hit a buck, you know, at least a buck. It's not gonna be, you know, like, just all out there right away. But um, I think when there's a bull run going on within the next few years, Bitcoin will see something like maybe 40 cents. And then as it really starts to grow over the next few years, we'll start to see a dollar. And then as more and more people are jumping on the bandwagon, it's just gonna continue to grow and get more popular. And then before you know it, it's just gonna be in the top 50 easily, in the top 30 even, and then with, uh, you know, better standing, better price, and we could see it like shoot up like Ripple did, for instance, and then probably who knows what will happen after that, but we'll have to reanalyze. But um, I really do believe in a dollar to three dollar electronium, and it's just a matter of time. Um, so if, as long as you can hold your bag and keep your bag safe, I think you're in good standing with electronium. And real quick, the Bitcoin stock to flow, it is looking good red dot has been put in and the last time the red dots went in we were total bull market style so I think we're still in we're in the beginning of the bull market and it has begun even if we're still in this like 
supposedly in a reaccumulation phase, but that ended exactly at the happening. So I, I believe the bull market is here, and uh, this is just a matter of time before we're hitting you know highs. It looks like 2021 to 22. So that's honestly like just what's going to happen. I think just right in here, that's where we're going to see that high, right in there. And that's about it, guys. Uh, you know, be kind to one another. Life is too short. You know, there's so much going on in the world right now. It is just crazy out there. So really take the time to be kind to your fellow man and uh, do the right thing when given the opportunity. And uh, for me, be sure to subscribe and like. When you guys like and subscribe, it, it shows the algorithm on YouTube that my channel is more desired and and part of what people are wanting to see and engaging with me and so be sure to like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys later peace